everybody, and happy Labor Day weekend. Today, I'm going to do a video that I've been wanting to do for a little while, and it is about something I designed to use for recording my guitar videos with backing tracks. Um, for my backing tracks, I use an iPod, and... For recording, I use my iPhone 11 Pro Max, and for all the stuff in between, I use this, what Tiny Dragon calls a studio on a stick, which literally is a stick. It is a monopod with a round mount on top. You can change things out up there. I've got a, a holder in case I want to shoot something up high or not. And this is a, a grippy foam handle and a wrist uh, secure leather strap because a lot of people use these and they were designed for hiking and photography. They don't make it anymore. The three legs come into one to make it a monopod. And they Velcro together with the, uh, with the strap at the bottom. If you find one of these, they're called a Sure Pack Versapod 2. Grab it. They don't make them anymore. They're wonderful. Use it for photography or make your own studio on a stick if you want. So what I decided to do was have a way to mount my phone. So I've I've got this eye clip, which is really secure. An eye clip uh, phone mount. And it will secure onto any stand, microphone stand or whatever. Just make sure it's pretty stable. And then here, I've got my Sure SM57 secured to the monopod via a stag microphone holder. And all the stuff that's in between is the... XLR to a uh, 3.5 millimeter, right there, stereo. And what I've got for that is I use this 3.5 millimeter to lightning to go straight to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And that that's how I record. There's no post-processing. It's just straight out of the amp, into the Shure, into the iPhone. And I will leave links to all of this stuff down in the description. It's not complicated, but it was just something that I thought up one day and it was really cool. Now, how I get my backing tracks to come out is on this awesome, also no longer made, Fender G Deck Jr. amp. There's a little 3.5 millimeter uh, auxiliary out, or excuse me, auxiliary in. And I use this cable. It's a 3.5 millimeter to a lightning cable. I'll leave a link to that as well. And it's a it's nice and flexible nylon, so it doesn't have any crazy kinkage happening. So I hook it up to that. And for my pedal board, it's uh actually just a piece of flooring that we had left over from the one of the other houses, and a piece of quarter round that I painted to match my truck. So that's what that is. One of the cool things about this little pedal board here, and I usually just use um, the Sentry, the TC Electronic Sentry uh, noise gate, and the Keeley Compressor Plus. I'm always using those, rarely ever using um, anything else. That's just always on. These two are always on. And this is one of the greatest things ever. It's a Big Joe Stomp Box Company Lie 2 Power Box. So you just flip it on. Big Joe. Okay. And then if you click it twice, it shows you how many milliamps are being used by your pedal board. Click it again. It shows you what the charge of the Lie 2 power box is, which is a little over halfway charged. Click it again, and it shows you how many hours you've got before 
your pedal board dies. So six and a half hours. So it's got that. I'll go ahead and turn it off. And this is how you charge it right there. Takes a little while to charge, but it is well worth it. It lasts forever. On the back, we've got the outputs. There's two of them. I use both. You don't have to, but I find that the Sentry noise gate likes its own power supply. doesn't like to be in a chain, so it's got its own. And there's the USB output for charging another device. Let's say you wanted to just take this box with you somewhere as your power supply. It's, it's metal. It's really solid. I'm going to say it's far superior to any of these little plastic um, power boxes that you can buy to charge your iPhones or whatever. But anyway, so you can use that as well. And uh, that is just a great, great thing. I, I love that. And they sponsored us for NAM last year, and we appreciate them a great deal. And that is actually where I discovered this lie box. Uh, they've got the lie, but the lie too is the way to go. That's the one you want, the power box. And uh, so that's it. That's my studio on a stick, which is actually a stick. So for everybody who wonders if I'm doing any post uh, production type stuff, you know, alterations of my sound, the answer is no. Straight from the amp to the Shure SM57, straight into my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And for anybody that's interested, these are my favorite picks. This is 99% of the time the pick I'm using. It's a carbon fiber pick. It's a jazz shape. And it's from Iron Age Guitar Accessories. I love that company. And I throw the pick. But I was going to say is this red thing that you see on here. And then you see a little sticky dot thing there. The red thing is actually called a sticky dot. And it's by a company called Guitar Moose. These are sticky dots and they'll fit on anything. They're a foam rubber type material. You can see one here. It's a foam rubber. They stick on anything. And then for a little extra grip, when this started wearing down so bad, I went ahead with a monster grip on each side because we need things equal for OCD purposes. But that is 99% of the time the pick I am using. And we all know this is a, a string mute. Groove gear, groove gear. But anyway, so that's it. That's everything I use. And I hope everybody has an awesome day. Oh, if you ever get a chance uh, to buy one of these Fender G Deck Juniors, they are absolutely phenomenal. I, I can't recommend them enough. They sound great. I replaced the stock F Fender speaker. It's an eight inch. I replaced it with a guitar warehouse speaker of the American series. And it it's just a wonderful amp. I've got two of them. They're hard to find. I think I paid 50 bucks each for them. Uh, get one if you can. They're they're just a great great all around amp, and they they'll crank it really loud if you need them to. Uh, they're a modeling amp, which is what I prefer. I do not like tube amps whatsoever. In fact, every tube amp I have, I have gotten rid of. So, anybody has any questions, check the description. I'll put links to everything down there. And uh, have a great weekend. Ciao.